Hey there, movie enthusiasts! Welcome back to the channel. I'm your host, the Cinematic Sage with a decade of movie-watching wisdom, and today we're diving into a film that's hotter than a demon on fire. Yes, you heard me right. We're talking about the chilling horror flick that'll make you question everything, especially your decision to watch it alone in the dark. But hey, that's how I roll. So, we're taken back to 1956 in Tarascon, France, where Father Noiret and Jacques are doing their daily grind at the church. But hold on to your popcorn, folks, because things take a fiery turn. Noiret gets lifted into the air, set ablaze, and toasted like a marshmallow. And poor Jacques? Well, he's just hanging there, clutching a rosary and witnessing the unholy barbecue. Fast forward to the aftermath at St. Cartha's Monastery. Sister Irene is now in Italy, Maurice is in a French boarding school, and the drama is just getting started. Irene gets a divine job offer from the Cardinal to investigate some mysterious deaths across Europe. And guess what? She's got a travel buddy, the rule-breaking Sister Deborah. Now, buckle up because Irene has a vision that takes us straight to Tarascon. Picture this, Jacques, an alley, and a demon nun named Valak who's into some serious choking business. Oh, the things you see when you're on a mission from the Cardinal. Our dynamic duo travels to Paletta Papes, meeting a librarian who spills the demonic tea. Turns out, Valak is a fallen angel rejected by God, and the rosary has a family crest tied to the martyr Saint Lucy. Lucy's eyes, saved after a pagan barbecue, are now a hot commodity for the demon. And where do you find these precious peepers? In a former monastery, now a boarding school. Irene, Deborah, and a whole lot of drama unfold at the school. Morris has got some demon issues, Sophie's facing devilish bullying, and there's a goat on a mosaic with glowing red eyes. If that's not enough, throw in collapsing bell towers and demon possessions. It's like a demonic soap opera, folks. But fear not because Irene's got the relic, and things get biblical real quick. Maurice goes full demonic, tries to set Irene on fire, classic demon move, right? But surprise, Irene's got the family magic and turns the tables. It's a battle of holy proportions, complete with barrels of wine turning into the blood of Christ. And guess what? Demon Valak gets a one-way ticket back to hell. Well, that was a wild ride, wasn't it? If demonic possessions, ancient relics, and a touch of divine intervention are your thing, this movie's got it all. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button, give us a thumbs up, and ring that notification bell, because we've got more movie madness coming your way. Until next time, stay spooky, my friends!